welcome to Weblog Zookies and Feeds. Oh my, this is Paul Allison, and today I'm on the other side of the Hudson. I'm on the New York side, other side from where I usually am, running north toward Riverdale. My uh, son was once biking along this path, and he said that it represented New York for him. <laughs> Because on one side you had a highway, and on the other side you had nature. You had the Hudson River and a park. <laughs> Not sure, but uh, here we are. I, uh, I have a few things bouncing around in my head. Don't know if I'll get to all of them. But they all kind of... At least I sense that they might coalesce <laughs> around um, a perspective, a stance. I don't want to call this a theory. It's just a kind of a stance toward writing um, that I have heard most clearly enunciated by David Warlick. Um, and that's the idea that writing can be a communicative act and and a publisher online can be an act of publishing compellingly which can include images and video and multimedia um, but don't want to lose that first point which is that writing can be taught as a a way to communicate, a uh, communicative experience for students, and not just a technical skill to learn. It's interesting, perhaps, to think about how teachers normally talk about a genre in this context. Um, and that's one example that maybe I'll go into more. But uh, think about genre as a technical skill. Yeah, what you want to do is find examples and uh, have kids practice particular oh, tricks of writing. But uh, if we really see genre as what an apprentice does, um, what we think about better there is uh, finding real experiences for students to communicate in with real audiences um, so that the genre becomes the uh, context in which they're communicating not the uh, not the sort of document that they're trying to create so as I talk about this, think about it, um, I, uh, I think there are two traditions, two can of worms that I'd like to dig into, um, perhaps not here, but at least identify them here, and then dig into them in some writing and some thinking this week. Um, and then there are lots of sub-examples all those things bouncing around in my head that I might identify. And the first is, uh, is this genre of personal writing. Um, it's uh, really taught in my school as a technical skill. Um, and I, I, I really need to unpack that and look at that fairly. Um, but the example I can talk about right now is um, the example of something that was list posted on the listserv, the New York City Writing Project listserv recently. The question was, I want to teach with personal writing in the center. How can I do that? Any ideas? And uh, any examples that uh, you can suggest. 
And the suggestions that came were these traditional genre studies. Studies of uh, particular kinds of writing that uh, English teachers think represents personal writing. You know, my first thought was, wait a second. There are kids doing personal presentation all the time and they're, they're constantly working on their personal um, narrative, they, how they present themselves in their MySpaces. Um, who are we to come in and teach them this sort of old genre, writing genre of, of personal writing? Um, this memoir writing. So, yeah, I've got a problem with that direction of that conversation. And I want to talk about that more somewhere. More dialogue I need to have about that. But, um, I don't know, so what am I suggesting? Yeah, I'm suggesting. Let's look at some profiles that kids have created of themselves. Let's think about those with kids and uh, help them uh, build those, both in terms of their writing and their multimedia. Now that, of course, laps over into the second area that I want to talk about, and that's uh, how multimedia image, video, flash, um, can also be taught as a communicative skill, and not as a uh, technical skill. My examples for this one have to do with uh, teaching Flash, something that I've given up over the past oh, two years, maybe even three, but I miss, and the students miss, and that they love to do. Um, and Susan and I started uh, doing with her students a little bit. Uh, and they pretty quickly moved away from the trite balls bouncing across the screen. But still, that's what it was. And uh, largely. And so, you know, without denying that you need some practice with technical skills, especially with Flash, and with Adobe Photoshop. Um, how can we have students create with images, communicate with images, and video, and, and flash, that, in, that quickly gets to meaningful communication and doesn't stick in the, the technical side of things. Uh, you know, Ray Drake's work with students at the World Journalism Preparatory School in Queens on the personal learning site uh, is the other point where I want to ask, okay, so your students were able to do this with Photoshop, how can they uh, make that part of what they want to do, not just an assignment that they complete? And, uh, you know, that's what's hidden in that communication. Uh, question there as opposed to te technical. That's another way to think about it. Now how can we move these assignments from assignments that students do to uh, things they want to do uh, to express something that's important to them. Here we are now crossing from Manhattan over into the Bronx, over to Riverdale. Hi there. Cold today. Yeah, not too cold actually. It's been colder recently. You know, I, uh, I'm up here in Riverdale now, but I quickly want to uh, say that this all has very practical um, what am I going to do on Monday? Kind of thinking for me. All right, so, uh, yeah, Susan Enheim and I have begun to scope out 
a sequence <laughs> of um, of activities. And uh, what we're trying to do is keep writing and multimedia image um, together and not emphasize one over the other. To try to keep them equal in some way. More than equal, um, it's uh, that we want them to um, require each other, come out of each other, make sense next to each other. But uh, what should be clear is that what we're trying to do is um, have kids become readers and writers, composers of multimedia texts in meaningful ways. Circum in meaningful um, circumstances. Uh, so that, uh, you know, ideally we do want them using Flash, but we want them using it to express something important to them. Uh, so, there's a lot of work to do. And, uh, I look forward to pulling this together. But, uh, for me, it's helpful to remember that what we're trying to do is, uh, not teach a technical skill. Either when we're writing or when we're teaching Adobe Photoshop. But what we're teaching is a communicative skill. I don't know what I've done here besides create an outline for myself. Um, I'm becoming really convinced that I know what this curriculum kind of needs to look like. And when I say this, I mean a curriculum that combines um, a profile, a, uh, an enhanced multimedia profile that uh, builds from what kids can do on MySpace. Look, you know what? I want kids to be to say that uh, something that they created in my class um, is so cool that they want to put it on MySpace. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a good goal. But you know, I want that kind of personal commitment. For, um, to the multimedia work and uh, a profile is all about self it's all about identity it's all about uh, the stuff that they presume to be teaching in that uh, personal essay genre crap <coughs> that uh, passes for curriculum um, Sorry, but I do feel pretty strongly about it. So then, the other part of the curriculum is uh, blogging and uh, all that's entailed with that. So, and I think their writing is more central. Uh, but of course, the multimedia plays a role there as well. Um, yeah, I'm realizing that multimedia doesn't cut it as a category here, but uh, because I mean everything from linking to using tags to uh, to learning how to use Photoshop and uh, other programs I like that. Oh, enough babbling. Uh, this is uh, an outline for my thinking this week. At least I'll listen to this and try to think about some evidence, some questions, some ideas, some uh, curriculum plans that meet some of these uh, expectations that I'm trying to lay out for myself and for others as we blog together. Talk to you soon. This has been Paul Allison's nearly weekly video blog. Um, I'm up here in Riverdale today and uh, going to meet up with my wife's father who has recently moved up here. Ah. 
you can uh, reach me at uh, Allison, A-L-L-I-S-O-N-P-R at gmail.com uh, Listen to our live webcast at edtechtalk.com um, on Wednesdays at 9 o'clock Eastern Time, 6 p.m. Pacific Time, 1 a.m. on Thursday, GMT. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye.